Hi, I'm Mark Free, and I'm the senior pastor here at Cornerstone Presbyterian Church. And it's my privilege to be talking to you right now. Hey, you're probably uh, looking here online to, to check us out because you're looking for churches. And so you've come across this video. And I want to say, as the senior pastor here at Cornerstone, that we're glad that, first of all, you turned to our page. And if you're wondering about this church, what I can tell you this church is really all about is about people following Jesus. Jesus issued a command to his disciples, come follow me. And we are here to help you along the way as you join in your spiritual journey. We wanna to join together with you as you follow Jesus. Cornerstone is really all about Jesus' command to go out and make disciples. That's what he shared with his disciples. And when he left, he left them a great commission. And uh, that commission is still for the church today. So Cornerstone wants to be faithful to that great commission. And so here at Cornerstone, we equip you as the believer to be able to follow Jesus' commands and to bring people into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ that's viable, that can fit into any situation that you face today. We want to walk alongside you on your spiritual journey. Wherever you find yourself on your spiritual journey is good. Uh, bottom line is Cornerstone is a place where you can come and right where you are today, connect with us and expect to grow in your faith. Uh, we have discussion groups, we have small groups, we have uh, people just coming alongside people and encouraging them, mentorship programs, discipleship programs. All of these things are set for one thing, and that's to be able to bring people closer to Jesus Christ. See, it's all about what Billy Graham talked about. God loves you so much, and because God loves you so much, He doesn't want to leave us just as we are. He wants to bring us much closer to Him, much more involved with Him, and uh, has a great plan for your life. And that's really what Cornerstone is all about, helping you discover your place in God's plans and purposes. You know, it's interesting that as we're filming this, uh, Billy Graham, the late, great Billy Graham, he had just passed. And Billy Graham had, at the end of his crusades, a, an amazing song, and it's called, Just As I Am, I Come to You. And I wanna pick up on that just a little bit because at Cornerstone, just as you are, where you're at in life, where you're at in your spiritual journey, you may have questions. You also may have just come through a, just a horrific time and a season in your life. We recognize that there's times and seasons in everybody's life. And so just as you are, you are welcome to come to Cornerstone and explore the faith as well as grow and mature in the faith. Uh, as far as worship services, we actually have worship services on two different days. We have a Wednesday night, very contemporary, just laid back, but still the gospel is preached. And that's at 6.30 p.m. right after our community dinner to which everybody is welcome. And then that's one of our worship services. Then we have two worship services on Sunday. We have a 9 a.m. Uh, contemporary service and an 11 a.m traditional service. In between, we have a Sunday school hour that, that uh, for the children as well as for adults. And then throughout the week and in different locations, we have Bible studies going on, small groups meeting, uh, men's breakfast uh, on uh, Saturdays. We, we do men's and women's retreats. We have special speakers come in. I, I want you to understand this, that we are a church that has a lot of stuff going on. And why do we have so much stuff going on? We have stuff going on so that you can find and grow as a disciple in Jesus Christ so that you can become mature in your faith. Yeah. Community involvement is very important to Cornerstone. Uh, we feel that we take the scriptures literally where Jesus said, you are salt and light. And uh, we're not just a institution unto ourselves. We are made to go out into the whole world and share the gospel message. And so that involves doing community projects. That involves being out in the community. I, I just love when Cornerstone, it's the church on the move, you know? And uh, I, I think Jesus' command is really important when he says, go. He didn't say stay and reach the whole world. He said go and reach the whole world. So Cornerstone does all kinds of things throughout the summer with our food trailer and serving food and loving on people and the like. And, and uh, so it's not just about what happens here. Our people also treat their worship 
as worship in their work. They do better work because they worship God, because they want to treat God the same way in their work as they do in their worship. Some people may be watching this and uh, think, well, this is just another religious person telling us what we need to do and, and uh, drawing us this way. And, and you know, bottom line is, uh, I, can, I can take that, but the bottom line, it isn't that. This is about how to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ every single day of your life. To learn from Him, to grow with Him, to, uh, to, to just nurture that whole process. And you know, the cool thing about God is, is God's not aloof. God's not just this big guy in the sky out there someplace, you know, just kind of, you know, looking for you to do wrong and smack you over the head. God loves us so much that he's written a whole book. He's been involved in this whole book process, teaching us and showing us how to have a personal relationship with him. And I can tell you from having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ for over 40 years that it is life changing. That's the answer that is missing in your life. If you haven't made Jesus Christ your Lord and personal Savior, that is the answer you're searching for. And it's what will make everything else make sense in your life as well. You know, a lot of people ask me, uh, what's your favorite Bible verse, Pastor? And to be completely honest with you, it varies from day to day because God's Word is living and alive and it speaks to me at different times and seasons in my life in different ways. There's some times where, hey, be strong and courageous out of Joshua is, is the key word like Sidney Berg shared. But there's other times like, come follow me is so like, it just reaches down and grabs me so strongly that it just changes my thought process. And so we, I wanna say one thing about God's word, that it is crucial that we get into God's Word. And at Cornerstone, we're, we absolutely encourage people to be a people of prayer and a people of God's Word because God's Word is what transforms us and changes us. It renews our minds, it cleans up all the cloudy stuff and the dirty stuff that's up there and redirects us and reorients us to the right things, the things that God is teaching us. Yeah, the significance of the name Cornerstone really comes from Matthew 21, 42, where it says, Jesus has become the chief cornerstone. It's really the center and focus of our ministry is Jesus Christ. Yeah, cornerstone is really about following Jesus' commands to impact the lives of people and changing lives one at a time. No life is insignificant. Uh, God, God, once God moves in and changes our lives, guess what happens? We go out and then impact others. And so every life is significant. Your life is significant. As God leads you and directs you, He will use you to impact other people's lives. So we take each life seriously and we work really hard to help equip you and release you into the ministry that God calls you to. Yeah, it's hard not it's hard for me not to get too passionate about what I'm going to just say right now. But here at Cornerstone, we recognize that no life is insignificant. Your life is significant because God has called you to a particular purpose. He had made plans for your life from the foundation of the world. When he put you together in your mother's womb, he put you together for his plans and his purposes. So here at Cornerstone, we're all about equipping and releasing you into your God-called ministry. We're okay with changing one life at a time because one life impacts hundreds, thousands, even as in Billy Graham's case, millions. So never discount that for your own life. Thank you.